Uh, let's do this. Okay, so I want to, for a minute, I want to talk about fear. Okay, so fear is something that you and I, we all have fear. Fear, and fear can be a really good thing because fear can tell us if something is dangerous if we need to get out of a situation. But what isn't good is when we choose to live in fear in a constant state. So the other day I posted a video on TikTok and I just simply asked the question, like what fears do you have around getting sober? And hundreds of people left these replies and a lot of the fears were fear of how do I socialize anymore? Fear of I don't know how to sleep at night anymore. Fear of, well, what do I do when I, when I want to have a break or relax? Or fear of socially not fitting in or the fear of losing friends or the fears just kind of went on and on and on, right? So what happens though, here's what happens is when we have a fear, we have a tendency to let that fear kind of paralyze us and hold us place where we are. So if you're trying to get sober, but you have all of these fears, right? All of these thoughts and patterns inside of your head that you're afraid going, well, I have a fear that no one's going to like me anymore. I have a fear I don't know how to sleep anymore. I have a fear that I don't know how to function right without it. So if these are all the beliefs that you have, you're just going to stay stuck in drinking. Well, what I'm asking you to do is we need to begin to take the fears, look at them, don't run away from them, don't avoid them, don't pretend like they're not there. We're going to look at them and then we're going to go, what is the lie that I believe about this and how can I replace that with truth? So for, for me personally, okay, um, one of the fears I had about getting sober was that if I got sober, I wasn't going to be able to use alcohol to relax because I believed culture told me, the world told me that, man, alcohol helps you relax, but let's just play it out. Okay. So I was a closet alcoholic and that meant that normally I would, after work, I would find myself sitting in my car on the side of the road somewhere drinking until I came home to my family and then I would have to hide it. So picture the scenario, the belief is I deserve this. I had a long day. I need to relax. It helps me settle. So I go buy 12 pack of beer, sit in my car, pound it out down real quick. Cause I gotta be home. And in that time of doing so the anxiety in me rises actually, right? It builds up even higher. It gets to the space where all of a sudden now, not only am I, was I stressed about just the day I had now all of a sudden I'm going, Oh crap. I have to drive home and I'm going to drive drunk. And this is terrible. Uh, I have to lie. I have to be able to hide the fact that I was drinking. I have to, all these pieces. So the anxiety in me actually increased to this panic kind of state. And then I'd walk through the door, try to act like it was all okay. Hoping I wouldn't be caught this time. Go to sleep, hung over the next day, fighting the hangover. So it's so just, and then just, and then having to wake up and pretend like I'm not right. Hung over. And then going about my day. So, so where in there do I actually believe that this is relaxing, that this is helping me in any way, right? So when I play the tape out, when I play the situation out, I can recognize that it's a lie. It's a lie that alcohol actually helps my stress. So now I can replace it with truth. And I can simply ask the question, what is the truth? The truth is, is it doesn't. The truth is that alcohol does not help stress levels. Now we have maybe created and, and generated inside of our body a way for it to, to seem like it does, but it doesn't. Okay. So the truth is there's a lot of other things I can do that actually do help with stress. So if I have a stressful day now in my recovery program, in my personal program, what I do is I map out things that I do for self care because I know self care helps me with stress. And self-care things don't have to be these big elaborate, like I need to go on a trip by myself or myself, even though that would be amazing. What self-care really looks like is what am I doing on a daily basis to take care of myself? And sometimes they're really simple, right? Sometimes it's just taking five minutes of your day and just closing your eyes and meditating. Sometimes even I did this one for a while and I'm not doing it right now, but I did it for a long time. I set my phone to go off every on the hour for one minute, it would just, I, I would take one minute and all I would do for that one minute is just check in. How am I mentally feeling? 
how is my body feeling? Where am I at? And then I get back to work. So one minute on the hour, every hour, all of a sudden I find that I was checking in with myself and that's all I needed sometimes. Other times, I, for me, it's at the end of a work day, I'll go down, jump in the ocean, five minutes, just five minutes standing in the ocean, feeling the waves, feeling the motion, and I come home a better person. I'm, I'm, I'm way more excited to be present with my children, with my wife. It's a, it's a transition spot for me. Um, ice bath. It's another thing I do. Um, I just, I actually have a big freezer that is full of water and it keeps cold at a certain temperature. And so I'll come home and I'll just climb into the ice bath and then you have to be present there. You have to be focused and I'll sit there and I'll breathe through it. Right. And those are all little things that help relieve stress. And so my question to you is what is the fear that you believe about getting sober or maybe you are sober at the moment but you have all these fears that you're holding on to okay so what are they and don't avoid them don't run away from them i want you to look at them i mean truly take a look at them sit with them and write them out make a list of all these fears right write them all out and when you write out these fears I don't want you to believe them, but I want you to stop and ask the question, why, what is the lie that each one of these fears holds and what is the truth? And I believe when we sit, when we sit in the quietness and stillness and ask these questions, you will find answers. You will find internally, it'll probably sound like your conscious speaking to you. It could, it, however, you, whatever you need to call this internal part of you, because I think we weren't designed to live in fear. And so I think inside of us, we will find that there'll be ideas. There'll be truths that come up. And now if you get stuck, reach out to somebody. You can reach out to me at bravingthejourney.com. You can simply go there, write an email and say, hey, I'm stuck in this fear and I don't know how to move through it. And I'll sit down and talk with you through it. I would love to get the ch chance to just kind of walk you through that fear because I believe fears paralyze and hold us so captive that we need to break free from those. So that's it. That's, that's my simple kind of explanation of fear today. Um, how we look at it, what we do with it, see it, be aware of it. Don't avoid it. Ask what's the lie about it. And then how do I replace that lie with what is truth? And then we can step into living in that truth. Okay. Sobriety. I want to, I want to say this. I'm going to say this over and over and over and over again. You can get sober and live a miserable life. And that's, that's not the design. That's not what I'm here for. That's not what, that's not what I believe we should be living into. I believe that we are the created unique individuals with our own unique identities that no one in the world is like me. Right. And I want to live into that. I want to be fully present, fully that I don't want to just be sober. I want to live an incredible life. I want to invite you guys into that same thing. I don't want you guys just to get sober, to be sober, to white knuckle and be like, I don't drink, but my life is terrible. No, I want you to get sober, to create space. So all of a sudden you can look at your life and go, who am I? What am I designed to do? And how do I live into the fullest, most amazing life for me? That's what I want. That's what I want to see with you guys. Be sure to go to braventhejourney.com. You can kind of find out more resources, how you can get signed up to do recovery coaching directly with me. Also go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere where podcasts are and Braving the Journey. You'll be able to find the podcast there. Every Monday, there's a new episode with a new guest and we're talking through these things right here. We're just kind of diving through them over and over and over again. So have an amazing day. Don't live in fear.